Uh, it looks like you've been scrolling a while. It's time to close the app, grab some water, and go get some fresh air. I'm sorry. Hey, it's me again. Stop scrolling, girl. I thought I told you to exit the app. <laughs> Remember? You could just exit the app as soon as possible. That Piano pants are the hot new trend. What's the big idea? I told you to stop scrolling. Do I look like I'm joking around here? No. No. Put the phone down. No. Ah! You thought you could get rid of me, didn't you? Hmm. Well, I'm the stop scrolling girl, and I'm in control. And now, you won't be able to swipe anymore. <laughs> Really hits the spot. Hey, oh. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Hello there. Hold and on, sweetie. It's your hair. Mom. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Mom. No, you were right. Hello, Rainland County. I'm Ted Pine with your headline, coming at you live backstage from the annual Rainland County Cat Fashion Show. Now, before I dive in, I just want to give a little personal note to my friends at Channel 5 News. It's been forever since I've started interning at this place, and I've been waiting for my chance forever to get in front of the camera, so for that I just thank you. I am here chatting with local cat fashion designer Louisa and her model, Cat Moss. Now, Louisa, what are you hoping to see from tonight's big show? Cats. And uh, what can you tell us about this cute, fuzzy little guy here? He is cat. Look at me. You're gonna win this thing. You're a tiger. So say roar. Well, folks, this was clearly a special event. And I have no idea why the other anchors vehemently refused to cover this. But, as they say in the news biz, their loss is mine! <laughs> Get back, you wild feline! I've just been informed that we've been escorted off the premises. But I can say with full confidence, that was one catastic show. This is Ted Pine with your headline. And join me next time when I cover the 10 year anniversary of Rainland County's insane asylum? Who signed off on that? No, no, you, you stay away. No, no, get off, get off. No, no, no. Looks sunny today. Hi. Welcome to the ice cream shop. You scream, I scream, we all scream. For ice cream? No. Okay, uh, well I was hoping to try some of the flavors, like what's Bitter Dreams? It's a blend of being one number away from winning the lottery and knowing that you'll never meet your parents' expectations along with a smattering of Dante's tears fresh from this morning. It's gluten free. Okay, um, maybe not that one. Try Regret and Chocolate. Okay, yeah, I love chocolate. Oh, what is that? It's a base of staying up at night thinking about the time you called your teacher mommy. Folded into bringing a tuna salad on the first day of school and now everyone calls you tuna boy. With ribbons of telling your crush how you really feel only for him to fist bump you and say, good one, dude. And 78% cacao. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try the melon one. That actually sounds really nice and refreshing. So that's not melon, that's melon collie. Raven just didn't finish writing it. I got too sad. Okay, why are all these flavors bad? Can't I just have like, like a scoop of vanilla or something? Sure. 
Wait, really? Yes, getting a scoop of vanilla ice cream at an artisanal ice cream shop fits our aesthetic. It's sad. Very sad. It's not sad. Here's your scoop, sad boy. Why is this not in a cup? The scoop need not conform to societal expectations. It is liberated. Of course it is. Oh, he forgot his sprinkles. Super successful influencing influencers, we have to have the best first photo ever. Oh, uh, excuse me? Hi. Can we influence you to take our picture? Sure. Cool, I took like five. Wait, let's take a fun one. Oh, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> fun. Not done yet, let's take a goofy one. Now, a serious one. Now, a sad one. Oh, now a shocked one. Cool, I gotta head off. Now a jumping one. Now a Shakespearean one. To, to be, not to be. Now a crazy wig one. Jeez! Now a scary one. <laughs> now a bad one. You blinked. Perfect, now one where we're not in it. Why did we just do that? Yeah. Now one of you. Now one of our stunt doubles. Now a silly one! We already did a silly one. No, we did a goofy one. This one is silly. Now a way too close one. Oh, too close. And now a Brandon one. A great idea! Go Beans! No, we don't want our photos taken by a paparazzi one. Over here, over here. Over here, over here. Now two kids in a trench coat pretending to be an adult one. I would like to see a movie, please. Oh, thank goodness. Your phone died. Oh, now one of all of us. Here, I have my phone. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Could you take a photo of us? Sure. Now a crazy one. Yeah. Now a robot one. What are you drawing over there? You'll see. I'm not done yet. You guys ever heard of a number one pencil? What? Do those even exist? I only heard of number two pencils. Yeah, teachers always tell us to use number two pencils on tests. Well, I know of a kid who used a number one. Whoa. This kid, Maddie, tripped on a pencil sticking out of the ground on his way home from school. He pulled it out and saw that it was a number one pencil. What did it look like? Well, it looked exactly like a number two pencil, except it said number one. Whoa. He thought nothing of it and tossed it in his backpack with all his other pencils. Later that night, when everyone else was asleep, he heard a noise coming from his backpack. He opened the backpack and saw that all his pencils were snapped in half. All of them except for one. The number one pencil. <laughs> the next day at school, Maddie had no other choice but to use the number one pencil on a test. The teacher warned, only use number two pencils. When he finished the test, he saw that for every answer, he wrote the word poop. And it was a math test, so poop wasn't the correct answer for any of the questions. He tried to erase it, but the eraser just added more poops to the test. The teacher saw it and sent Maddie to detention. Why didn't he just get rid of the pencil? He tried. But every time he threw it away, it ended up back in his backpack, destroying all of his other pencils. There was no way to get rid of it. Until one day, a classmate asked, could I borrow a pencil? Maddie handed the number one pencil to that poor soul, never to see it again. From that point on, Maddie only used number two pencils. Wow. Where's the number one pencil now? No one really knows. Scary. Well, I'm done with my drawing. Ah! 
Oh, hey, new girl. I'm Tiffany. I'm the queen bee of this school. I'm Miranda. I'm the rich one. And I'm Beth. And I'm trying my best. I mean, my best. <laughs> Not so fast, new girl. Yeah, where are you clumping off to in those hideous boots? Uh, yeah, where, where'd you get those? The store? Are you asking me if I bought my shoes at the store? I think so. Just stay out of our way, okay? Yeah, what about you to trip on those ugly boots? <laughs> yeah, it can get pretty slippery when it rains around here. This building has a huge infrastructure problem, so make sure to use those handrails, new girl. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, new girl. Looks like you're carrying a lot of stuff. Mm, let me help you with that. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I got that. <laughs> Didn't really give me a lot to play with here. Um, oh, do uh, you, you want to knock out my pen? I, oh my gosh, that would be so great. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> oh no. See you later, alligator. You're not supposed to freeze for the freeze frame, Beth. I, I, I know. Red leather. All right, I'm ready. Wait, honey. I got your throat coat tea. Thanks, Mom. You know, Mom, I want you to know that your contributions are deeply appreciated. And we're live. <laughs> Hello, Rainland County. I'm Ted Pine with your headline. And today I am at the scene of a supposedly haunted house right at the end of 1134 Nightmare Lane. Now, we've gotten several reports about a certain loud screaming in the night, several noise complaints, but you know me, folks. I like to get right into the action, so let's not waste any more time and head on inside. Wait, 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 wait! He does have his gear! Oh, all right. Holy water? An EMF reader? And what? Garlic powder? This is a bit much, don't you think? No. I'm not a guy that gets scared easily. I would never scream and like freak out or anything. I don't really think this place is haunted, so I don't think I have any reason to. Whoa! <gasps> Whew, that was a big mosquito. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guess we're heading inside. It's looking at a strange green glow. <laughs> Goodness, I'm so jumpy today. Ah! Um, hey there. I didn't know anyone else lived here. Uh, where is your mom? Because right now, you're looking a little frightening. <laughs> ah! It's locked! Ah! Get back, I don't want ravings! Ah! Ah! Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off! Ah! What did you see? What did you see? Ah! So, ladies and gentlemen, they... what's that breeze? There you have it. I'm not sure if this house is actually haunted or it just needs to get animal control up in there or something, but I am not sticking around to find out. This is Ted Pine with your headline, and I'm either going to be crying myself to sleep or I will simply not sleep at all. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Oh, the bats are back! Start the van! Oh, oh. <laughs>